Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in as always. So today you join me at Bluebell Lakes, which is in Peterborough. Um, you will have seen from my previous videos, I was down here in September time and had a, a cracking session. So I am back on uh, Mallard Lake, which is where I was before. I am fishing the far bank as well, so not the roadside. Um, so yeah, I'm here for 72 hours. So looking forward to it. Um, bit of a nightmare this morning with the weather already, so snow and then now glorious sunshine. That's the, the British weather for you, but um, yeah, so I've just about got the camp set up. Um, it is around half 11 in the morning now, so today is 5th of April. So um, night fishing's back, obviously. So this is my first session back out. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you around the peg, um, show you what tactics I'm using as always. Um, there's been a few fish off already. They've been caught on zigs. Most of them have. Um, so obviously I've got one of my rods on, on there at the minute and then two of the others on um, some pop-up rigs. So that's it. I'll sort of leave the intro there. I'll let you have a look around, look at the pictures, look at the, um, the peg, and then I'll catch up with you in a bit once I've had a chance to have a bit of a rest after the two and a half hour drive and lugging all the gear around to the peg. Um, you can no longer drive around this backside so I've had to wheelbarrow all my gear around and I'm right at the other end so it was a bit of a trek shall we say. Um, so yeah I'll leave it there, I'll let you uh, have a look at the, the peg like I say and then we'll catch up with you in a bit and show you what's going on. So as part of this video and this vlog, I did say I'd be doing a giveaway. So your chance to win some sticky baits uh, are up for grabs. So what we've got available, the five kilo bag of freezer sticky krill baits, and also a tub of manila white ones wafters, brand new tub. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning those prizes are A, be a subscriber, B, comment on the video. That's it, that's all you need to do. I think the last giveaway that I did, uh, I give it to, did it with all my subscribers and it was too hard to manage. So um, anyone that is a subscriber and comments on this video, uh, I'll enter you into the draw. And again, I'll do another uh, vlog in a couple of weeks time um, with an electronic draw and we'll, uh, we'll see who the winner is. So it's just a thank you from me for everyone's support, uh, comments and feedback and obviously subscribing to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I'd like to do a, just a little giveaway and a thank you every now and again. Uh, obviously pay for all my own pockets. I don't mind that because I really enjoy doing these things. Um, so yeah, there's your chance to win. Be a subscriber, comment on the video and you're entered into the draw. Catch up soon. How do? Welcome back, you beautiful people. Um, we're approaching. It's all right, it's like the duck say it's weird before I can carry on filming. Um, we're approaching half six, seven o'clock now. And if I'm honest, I've not had a single knock or bleep, which is a little bit concerning. However, I do keep reminding myself of any been here seven hours 
and within the first few hours we had snow, gale force winds, rain, sleet. Now we've had sunshine, it's still wind, it's still been really cold. I know it looks nice and warm, but it's definitely not. Um, very chilly, it's going to be a cold night tonight. I think it's getting into minus two um, this evening, so it's going to be a chilly one. But we're still out here and we're fishing. So, um, redid the rods about half an hour ago. They're all back on, all three spots. I'm going to leave one zig out um, all night, just as a an off chance, just in case, and then the other two on good solid spots. I've just put a little bit of bait. I've not, I've not put a lot. I've probably put two two small spoms so that, you know the little the little spom um, of pallet and crushed boily over uh, the other two rods um, so yeah that's the plan looks absolutely glorious as you can see from the clip but a lot of the fish have uh, stopped showing that the wind was howling down to the left um, of the lake but it's pretty much died off the last hour it's, I'm surprised it's not flat calm out there now so hopefully that'll stop them moving around and make them get their heads down and have a little munch um, so yeah I'll probably speak to you in the morning unless we have a cheeky carp from now up until then say the fish I've caught off here in the past have always come sort of between 9 and 3 in the morning always been late night bites apart from one which was the 27 pound that I had on my last vlog uh, at Bluebell but again relatively quiet I can't believe how quiet it is I think next time when I come I always try and aim to get here for really really early doors but you know, wait outside the gate but I'm not going to do that anymore because a lot of people leave at about half 10 11 o'clock from when they've got here that on their visit so um, you know you oh Bit of an occurrence. <laughs> That's promising. Never had a live bite while I've been filming. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. So back to what I was saying is, don't don't get here early because a lot of people left at half eleven, half ten to half eleven, and then the lake was empty. Uh, you could have a good walk around, pick your spot. So. I'm definitely going to do that going forward. But I'll leave it there. Like I say, I'll catch up with you if you have anything, any other updates. If not, I will see you in the morning, bright and early. Another clear, sunshiny day. Probably another good day for Ziggs. Um, so, yeah. Got my mate coming to join me tomorrow. Actually, he's coming down for 48 hours. So, Danny, um, we'll get him on the vlog. Hopefully, it's his first time down here. So, hopefully, we can... Uh, get a bit of beginner look on a new lake uh, but yeah I'll see you in the morning hi everyone so um, just a quick update I am absolutely devastated and gutted uh, I've just lost a fish at the net um, and truly through my own fault um it's half past eight light's just gone perfect bite time uh, the right hand rods rattled off uh hit into it come in absolutely fine come in like a bloody bin bag it's so like worst fight i've ever had uh gets uh, close to the net close to the reeds uh, and the fish just wakes up and absolutely darts off to the right my clutch is set too tight 
I'm trying to adjust it as it's going and then the hoop pulls um, absolutely gutted um, I really hope I get another chance I know I'm lucky that this is the first night so I've only been in here six seven hours so um, rod straight back out on the spot I'm not putting any more bait out um, but absolutely gutted stupid mistake uh, always keep your clutch semi tight um, but hey happens it just would have been absolutely banging to get the session off with the fish on the first night but it's only half past eight I'll keep telling myself that and we'll uh, see if we can get another one but we've had a bite it was on the uh, krill pop up on the standard spinner rig uh, so yeah I'll leave it there if you have any other updates I will keep you informed other than that I will see you in the morning but hopefully I get another chance and that rod goes off again so we'll see you soon <laughs> hi everyone and it's half past 12 middle of the night and we have had an absolute banger so let's get her up and show you for yourself so you can have a look see Look at that. 36 and a half pound. Blue Bal. Mallard Lake Common. Absolutely over the moon. Absolutely stunning fish. Let's get some photos. Have a look at the other side, then we'll get her back. Amazing. Yep, my friend. the other side. Absolutely stunning. There she goes. morning everyone and happy Tuesday um, <coughs> as you can see from the footage before I am absolutely buzzing um, got my new UK PV what a lovely fish that was last night 36 pound 8 common um, taking on the right rod again at 20 wraps on a um, krill pop-up um, yeah it's the, it's the rod that I'd lost uh, a fish on 
earlier that day as well so I was absolutely over the moon to get another chance and on the first night so it's just really hard to try and get a good picture and some good footage at one in the morning um, probably need to get a proper uh, stand in a separate light rather than just relying on the the phone because that's all I shoot this this footage on is just using my iPhone um, but either way absolutely uh, buzzing with another two nights to go so it's six o'clock just watch the sun come up enjoying the views of the lake so going to have a brew now my mates just arriving the gates have, will be opening shortly so they'll be all coming down um, so hopefully can get on there's still a few pegs to the left and to the right of me so I'm sure it'll be fine um, so yeah I'll leave it there I'm going to have a nice cup of char to warm me up because in all the commotion last night went in a bit too far with me while he gogs on and the, the water came over and soaked all my socks and everything I didn't bring any spares stupid so they are currently on the roof of the baby drying but it was worth it for me new PB. Buzzing. Right, I'll catch up with you later on, guys. I'll give you any other updates as we crack on throughout the session. That's the view on morning number two. After all the excitement. Look at that lovely fish. One in the morning. Be nice to get one in the day get some good footage maybe I'm just being greedy dropped in temperature last night though everything's frozen this morning even my socks frozen solid on top of the bivy hopefully we get a chance of another bite today Quick afternoon update. Rods have been out a couple of hours now. No action as of yet, as to be expected. Like I say, the weather looks glorious. I'll just give you an idea of where I've um, placed my rigs. So they're all, funnily enough, at 20 wraps exactly, um, spread across the middle of the lake. Left hand rod towards where are we the big tree there middle rod a bit further along here and then the right hand rod on the zig here so 
Yeah, all looking pretty. I should have recorded the weather this morning when I first got here. The snow, the dark clouds, the rain, the sleet. Right, next bag. I thought it was, you know, you got a feeling it's just going to be one of those sessions. Um, but the weather's turned around, so there's still hope for some fishies. Like I said before, I'm here for um, 72 hours, so Monday to Thursday morning ish, 11, 12 o'clock on Thursday. So we'll see if we can wangle, wangle a cheeky fish out. It'd be nice to get any fish to start with, but like I said, on my last session I had four fish and they were all 20, so I uh, it would be nice to get break the 30 barrier. The guy on the corner, Peg, um, as you first come onto my lord, on the, the this side, not the road side, he got here on Sunday, I think. Yeah, yesterday morning. And within half an hour, he'd had two 30s. Um, so shows you what can be done in a short space of time on this lake. So top angle into that fella, well done. I expect it to be a lot busier than it is as well, to be fair, you'll see. Well, you can't see, but on that far bank, I can see at the minute at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty spaces. I know it's Monday, it's Easter Monday, um, but I just thought the last time I came, I, I was lucky to squeeze on. So I'll leave it there. We'll catch up in a bit. Hi, pal, you all right? I'll just give you Not a bad, mate. quick scan of what bait I'm using today and what the spod mixes I've been putting in. Just two little little spams over each rod every four to five hours so not putting anywhere near the amount of bait that goes in in the summer or autumn so we've got a bit left there as you can see so we've got some pallid boily corn and then some um sticky liquid so first of all we'll add some more just a couple of handfuls of krill boilies some of the manila pallets some of the cloudy krill liquid business two bites so far within 12 13 hours that's what put over the right rod I said the two bites and done the 36 common so that's what we're using the bottom bait was a, a krill pop-up just a standard original on a um, on a Ronnie rig Simple tactics using the Gemini booms. Um, done the job so far. It's coming up to about half eleven now, so um, doesn't usually do bites in the middle of the day, well, especially for me when I've been here. Um, so I'm going to get some breakfast slash brunch on. Danny's joined me now, so he's got his rods out after a long trek. So we'll uh, cook up a bit of breakfast. Hopefully the weather stays as it is and that wind dies off because it's bloody freezing. And we'll update you a bit later this afternoon, about four o'clock time, or if we have a fish before then. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Thing that obviously we were talking about earlier was um, hooks and uh, you know the barbed, micro barbed, barbless rule. Um, and obviously here on 
uh, Bluebell Lakes, it is a barbless rule. And obviously we were having a, me and Dan were having a chat thinking about, oh, what, what do you think about it? And I suppose I didn't understand it enough. Um, I, I'm always just barbless all the way. Barbless, appreciate, let's, you know, try and save the fish's mouth, do as much as we can to protect it. But then Dan explained obviously how it can benefit and I didn't understand that. So, um, you know, what are your, what are your thoughts on, um, on, on hooks and, do you think it should be barbed? Do you think it should be barbless, micro barbs? Where do you stand? If you know, if you if you've got um, an opinion on that, let us know in the comments. But I suppose me and Dan will give you our our thoughts on that now. So, Dan, what are your thoughts on it, mate? Um, I guess you get you get some fisheries which we said earlier. Some 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 only let you fish micro barb hooks. Uh, some are barbless only. I, th I don't know. I think I think the whole conception of, of barbed hooks are, let's say, uh, dangerous to the fish, fish's welfare. Mm. Why? Uh, it, to me, I don't understand why. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think it's all to do with the handling of of the unhooking of a barbed hook, or perhaps when the when the rigs uh, snapped off mm. and maybe trailing in the fish's mouth, it might be harder for the fish to you know eject eject the hook. Um, if it's barbed, yeah, you know, because um, at the end of the day, it's, it's the rig's only going to stay in, in its mouth as, as as strong as your line is. You know, you can have the biggest hook in the world, but if your line snaps, then obviously yeah. the rigs. Yeah, it, it is quite stressful when you snap off. You know, in a fish swimming around with the rig in its mouth of, yeah. you know, I don't know, twenty feet of line trailing on it, mm. um, and if it's barbed, obviously it's harder for, for to get rid of it. But I think. I think for me, if I'm if if I'm if I know I'm landing the fish, I much prefer fish uh, a micro barb. Um, personally, I think I think I think when a fish is shaking its head, there's there's probably less movement for the hook inside its mouth. Yeah. You know, if you if you've hit the hard part, the bottom bottom reeds. Yeah. Uh, I think I think with a barbless hook, it's there's more there's a lot more movement. You can create a sort of a bigger hole, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. No, I don't, and I didn't think about that before. I think I, yeah. I was thinking that you know the barb on a hook is going to cause more damage, but actually, that's going to be sat solid in the fish's bottom yeah. lip, hopefully, and it's not going to be moving anywhere because that barb is helping to keep it in place. Whereas with a barbless hook, like I say, it's got more freedom to move about and make potentially yeah, exactly. cause more yeah. damage, but. You know, it's interesting because some lakes have a strictly yeah. barbless, and then some, example where I'm going in a couple of weeks at Monument, up at RH Fisheries in Shropshire, is um, micro barbed preferred. It says that on their on their website. So, you know, there's obviously each fishery owner and fishery rules have got different guidelines, but it's just a, it's an interesting topic to talk about because I've never really thought about it like mm. that that much before. So, you know, feel free to leave your comments in the below the video and let us know what your thoughts are because it's something that sort of opened my mind a little bit today to think well actually barbless is always right for the fish but actually is it because sometimes you could do more damage uh, with a barbless so yeah interesting interesting topic i, th I think uh, on hooking uh, <laughs> a fish with a barbed hook has to be done yeah you got you need Properly. a knack for it yeah 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 you need a certain amount of pressure the opposite way the barb and you know yeah no it's a good point i think that's the thing isn't it? if you've got yeah. you know you've got a maybe someone that's new to carp fishing that's got a barbed hook on doesn't know the background behind it and just tries to yank that out of the yeah. fish's mouth Four and does it correctly and trying to, yeah then you end yeah. up with a damaged fish's lip and we all know the type of fish we've seen them where the mouths have been ruined and they look God, like it's, it's you know, they've been sucking off a golf ball for the the whole life it's like, <laughs> so, like an horror movie yeah God knows how they feed with a mouth like that. But we still end up catching them, and yeah, maybe it's because they're greedy, and because yeah. they're stupid, and that's the carp that we like, because we catch them. <laughs> they're the only carp we can catch. Yeah, they're the only ones we can catch, yeah, correct. No, well, that, fi that fish was <laughs> pristine, and the hook was set perfectly. Um, barbless so, as well. And barbless. And barbless. So, there you go, there's my point proven. Yeah. What a quality and rig made by these hands.
No, mine, it wasn't. Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not naming any names and no sponsors here. No, I'm happy for spending my own money and buy what I want. Happy with that. Right, ladies and gents, we're losing the light now, so we'll, uh, we'll sign off here for the evening unless we have any fish throughout the night and we'll uh, keep you updated. But thanks for tuning in. Um, all the rods have set, like I've said from the earlier video. So all the three rods on my peg and the three rods on Dan's peg are all uh, ready to go. Bit of bait above them all, so we shall uh, keep our fingers crossed. Um, and we'll keep you updated. So if anything happens throughout the night, we, will, we shall see you later. If not, I'll see you in the morning. See you all soon. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to day three. So today's Wednesday. <clears throat> Nothing exciting happened in the night, unfortunately, even though we were feeling confident that all three rods are bang on the spots. <laughs> Nothing materialize so just gonna have a brew now think about the plan of action for today another nice sunny day no other fish have been off this side of the bank the opposite side of the bank had some yesterday oh, the wind was really howling into them maybe carried the fish across there but different perspective today only slight wind in the air so hopefully that mixes things up a bit try and keep our eyes peeled for some shows if we spot any fish might give us a give us a hand but yeah I'll go crack on make a brew redo the rods as they've been out since six o'clock last night and then I'll uh, give you an update around midday. <laughs> Let you know what the crack is and what's going on. So until then, enjoy the view. As promised, here's the rig that caught the 36. So tidy, boom, straight down to keep it still before I put it back out. Size six. Caught it on a krill pop up, but this one's a pineapple one, it's going back out. And then a weighted bead. I prefer those than using the putty. And then a three and a half ounce lead. The lead clip system. Hey up, my ducks. Welcome back. Nothing carpy happening at the minute. We're on day three now. So it's the, the last afternoon, last night, and I'll be packing up um, tomorrow about 11. Um, so we've still got a good few hours and last night to go. Looking, still looking very good as you can see. The weather's been kind to us today, but yeah, still no more, no more fish on this side. A few more have come out on the other side. Um, I think one lad again has had a bit of a mega day. I think he's had seven or eight fish. So they're obviously in front of him on his on his spot. So well done, that man. So it's coming up to four o'clock or so. Um, so I'll leave the rods out now for another couple of hours. It's about six o'clock. I'll reel them in. I'll show you um, the rig that I've caught the, the 36 on and not the same, it was the same rod and rig that I lost the fish on three hours before I had that one. So I'll show you that. It's a straightforward Gemini um, rig. So I'll let you have a look, see at it. Probably put a couple more small bombs. I'll show you. It's just the, the, the smaller one it's not the the massive ones you can get this time of year i don't think you need to be putting a lot of bait in so that's the plan i'm gonna have a barbecue tonight with danny some burgers on celebrate the uh, the pb a couple of beers maybe 
and that'll be it. But I do feel a little bit deflated after having those two two bites and that fish within the first 12 hours and then nothing for a good 36 hours. But it's a huge lake. I know the fish from the locals, they do say they do travel around in big shoals together. So if you're not on them, you're not on them. But here's in hoping that they will come back onto our spots. But if they don't, it's been a mega trip anyway. Uh, when I come back next, I think I'm definitely going to try out either. Um, well, one of the other four, uh, four lakes where I've fished here a couple of times now, so it'd be nice to get some new scenery. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm next next back out on the bank actually in, where are we now? Um, next time I'll probably be vlogging is a couple of weeks time. I'm going to, I've got another week off actually the beginning of May, so I've got three nights free at the beginning of that week. And then I'm booked on Monument One uh, for the second half of the first week in May. So looking forward to that and getting back down Monument One. I've, um, I've, I've never fished Monument One, I've fished Monument Two. But looking forward to um, having a bash on that lake. So there's some uh, lumps and some monsters in there as well. So another chance to catch some beasts and maybe even smash the PB again. You never know. But some things to look forward to. Little coot been going through my lines for the past 20 hours, teasing me. I'm in my bivy and it goes. Right, I'll leave it there. I'll catch up with you um, before bed, give you a quick update if anything happens. Um, other than that, I'll see you a bit later on. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to the evening update. So we've got the barbecue on, got the burgers and the sausages going. It's about six o'clock now-ish, I don't know exactly. Just redone my rods, I'd say redone about an hour ago. All three back on the spots, hit the cliff, happy, a little bit of bait over each rod again. So. Mine are done now for the night and the morning tomorrow. Danny's just literally finished putting his third rod back out. As you can hear. So, yeah, we're getting tucked into these burgers now and sausages. The sun's just breaking through, which is nice. It's been a bit warmer today. Not had that howling wind. So seen some fish show in front of Danny to be fair in front of his peg so fingers crossed he he can bag one of them tonight quite close in as well only about 12 13 wraps out so fingers crossed he manages to bag one I'm happy you know I've done I've only caught one fish and lost one but I'm it's my PB so I, I'm happy either way I'm going home and happy bunny tomorrow it's not cheap come down here you know it's if you want to do three nights, three 24 hour sessions, it's you know, nearly 100 quid. But you've got the chance of catching something cracking like I was fortunate enough to catch, and there's even bigger, obviously, in here, so it's worth the risk. <clears throat> so we'll leave it there. If you watched up to this point, thank you very much, and thanks for following all the way through. You can have a couple of beers. Remember as well, um, for the competition, to win some of that free bait, the five kilogram, five kilo of um, sticky bait, krill boilies, and the pop-ups. Just need to be a subscriber and leave a comment. So. If you want to enter into that, to uh, being with a chance of winning, that's all you need to do. So, other than that, I'll sign off now. I'll see you in the morning. 
unless we have something this evening or in the night. And hopefully we can have a fish in some daylight rather than it being night time all the time and dead hard to get nice pictures and stuff. But to be fair, I've got Danny with me tonight. So, whereas I didn't with the, on the first night I was on my own. So it's easier when you've got someone with you. But fingers crossed we get something for you guys to have a little sneaky peek at at home or if you're probably on the bank watching this. Tight lines to you. But other than that, I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully before. See you soon. Morning guys. And welcome back to a miserable, dark, dull, cold Blue Bar Lakes. So Nothing exciting happened in the night, very quiet. A couple of sleeps, but that's about it. So I'm gonna finish my brew. Start getting packed down, I'm due to be off at 11. Uh, but the weather's definitely changed. <coughs> uh, so, I'm getting home, nice hot bath and get warmed up thank you for um, tuning in as always hope you've enjoyed this vlog as much as I have especially catching with PB remember as part of the competition the bait giveaway on this vlog all you need to do is be a subscriber and then just leave a comment any comments in the comments box just so I know that um, you want to be entered into the competition to win five kilo of boilie and the pop-ups, so decent little prize. Just for, again, big thank you from me for all the viewers that watch and give me feedback and stuff, really appreciate it. And then I'm next out on the bank in a uh, couple of weeks. I've got another week off for uh, my birthday, beginning of May. So um, I will be three days, <coughs> maybe somewhere on my um, syndicate and then three days at uh, up at the monument uh, fishery which is luckily only half an hour 40 minutes from me but it'll only be the second time I've fished it so looking forward to getting back on there hopefully catching one of the, the lumps that are in there but other than that I'll uh, get packed up now if anything else happens I'll keep you in the loop and show you but other than that I'll see you next time on the bank thanks for tuning in as always and I'll see you soon